Hi, I'm Sergio with Arvig. Thanks for tuning into Tech Talk. Today we're going to be talking about computer updates. I hear from a lot of you that you're concerned when a, a pop-up comes up or you know whether this update is legitimate, should I be doing it, or how do I even update my computer so it's on the newest software and, and as secure as possible. Those are very important things to do, both doing updates yourself and avoiding what might be a virus or a scam trying to trick you into updating some fake program. So I'm going to be talking about some of those things how to avoid and showing you where to do those most critical updates on both Macintosh and Windows computers. So why don't we look at that. Okay, so here we have a, a, an Apple computer, a Macintosh computer, a MacBook. Um, and if, to find the update center, you click on the Apple in the upper left hand corner and choose software update. Very easy. Um, while it's loading to check for new updates for me, I'm going to kind of talk about what, how the Apple update software works. It actually is a little different than Windows Update, which I'll talk about next, but it searches for updates for many programs on the computer, not just Apple programs, but any program that has applied to go through Apple's software update. So for example, um, Java is updated through this. Um, at one time, Flash was updated through this. Um, other programs that Apple sells that aren't built into the computer, so um, that might be Final Cut or iMovie. Etc. The, the list goes on. It can update all of those. Now in my case it says your software is up to date. I don't have any updates so I can choose quit. But if I did it would list them and you can put a check mark next to the ones you want to update, the ones you don't want to update and when you choose the ones you want you hit install. My best practice is pretty much any update that comes through this software update you should do. Apple's very good about updating security flaws and things like that fairly frequently and in, are very, actually very good about not breaking software. Um, so their updates are pretty, pretty rock solid and you don't have to worry too much. Especially if it says it's a critical or a security update, I would suggest doing that as quick as possible. Now let's show what the, uh, the Windows updates look like. We'll bring you over here to the Windows screen. Um, we don't have Windows on this computer, but to find it, it's very easy. You just click on the Start button and look for Windows updates either in your Programs list or right in the first option of start. Now what you can see here is Windows a little bit more complicated. Uh, the reason for that is Microsoft supports a wide, wide variety of programs. Um, programs don't have to be necessarily ex accepted or certified through Microsoft to be installed currently. So you'll see that it has different categories. It has important updates and optional updates. You're gonna wanna make sure to do important updates pretty much as soon as they're available. Optional updates, are free, feel free to click on them and look for the list of what they are and see if it's something you want or not. But like Macintosh, I would recommend anything that says security or critical, definitely install. The one thing you have to be cautious for with Windows updates is once every oh, six months to a year or so, Microsoft will, will release something called a service pack. That's a very big update that makes significant changes in both security, um, adds new features, um, does lots of different things. It, compared to other updates, it's probably 100% bigger, if not more. The reason I say be cautious about those, maybe give it a week or two after it's come out when, when those are released is, sometimes they come with little bugs or flaws and you know you want those to all be tweaked out before they're, you install it yourself. But after that, feel free to install. It's best to make your system as secure as possible, so install them. Um, updates from both Apple and Windows will usually take, depending on how many there are, between five and 10 minutes. But if it's a big one, it could take an hour or so, so give it its time. Make sure if you're a laptop, you have it plugged in so you won't get shut off, and you'll be ready to go. So thanks for watching this episode of Tech Talk. The one uh, more bit of advice or warning I'm gonna give you is, those are the two most legitimate ways to update programs through Apple and Microsoft Windows. Um, if you get a pop-up or a random screen when you're on the internet that says update now, make sure to read it closely to see what it's asking to update to make sure it's a legitimate program and not a virus. Don't just click and go, read what it's saying, see if it's a program you have, and be safe. And if you don't know, ask a friend or you know uh, someone with a, that's good with computers. Thanks for watching. If you do have problems with your computer or need help updating it, you can always bring it into Arvig. We'll do that. We'll be happy to do that for you. You can come into one of our Arvig locations or find us at arvig.com or give us a call at 888-99-ARVIG.